All right, guys, in this video, what I would like to uh, show is how you can quickly rotate and maybe translate the project into a coordinate system that maybe coincides with your, you know, CAD model or Revit or something. Um, I've, um, a couple of years ago, I had a video about this already, but uh, the tools that are now uh, available in Scene make it a little bit easier, and I get this question a lot, so I thought I'd make the video. So if you look at the project right now, and I look at it from the top, you see that it's got this arbitrary rotation that's based on you know, compass reading or compass bearing or something. I the, the easiest way, and this is my way of doing it, so it doesn't have to apply to everybody, but this is how I usually deal with this, is I fly into the environment that I've just registered, figured out the placement on every, every one of the scans, and uh, what I do is I look around and I say, all right, you know what? I have a wall that is the wall that's supposed to be facing. So if I want this whole thing to actually face, you know, in this direction, I can pick a wall that I see easiest in my scan. I know this is the direction. If I'm picking a scan that is right here, because that's the one that I was actually at, uh, I can right click this and I'll view it. When I view it, I can focus in on the, the wall that I was looking at in the 3D view. So this is the actual wall. What I'll do is I'll hit the selection tool and I'll draw a polygon along this wall. And again, mind you, I'm trying to avoid any changes in geometry between the actual points that I'm clicking. Double click to close. So this is relatively uh, long. Uh, left to right, I'll right click this and now I'll create an object and that object will be plane. So when I create that plane, this plane is created in this view. This plane is also associated with the scan that I'm in. I'm in scan number 001. So if I look for my scan number 001, happen to be at the very bottom, there's my plane that I just created. I don't need to look for it, so I don't have to expand this. I don't have to do this, but just showing the logic of what's happening. I'll hit the OK button. Um, now that plane exists, if I right-click this plane now, the program will ask me, hey, did you right-click the yellow selection or did you right-click the plane? I right-click the plane, so I'm picking this, and it gives me the context menu for that plane. And I'm going to make it face south off from the position of where the scanner was. So I'll hit south, meaning um, when I now switch over to my 3D view and I look at it from the top, it's now aligned. So that's my first position or first um, uh, change in the geometry of my data. And now I need to know, okay, you know what? Uh, from the CAD model, I happen to know where the corner of, I don't know, I'm making it up, uh, where the corner here is or on the floor or you have a column line or some intersecting something that you can identify. Um, it's not always easy to uh, envision this or uh, figure out what I'm about to do, but there's a couple of tools that allow you to make it a little bit easier to see. So, you know, change the visualiz visualization to something that makes it easier for you to actually see the corner. So none of these work for me, obviously, but this normal coloring works or obviously the, the, the original colors. But I guess this is the easiest because it colorizes the pixels based on the way that they actually face. And I can kind of easily, well, still not very easily. This is by no means a scientific way. This is my way of doing this to, to nudge it into the right coordinate system this way. But I can see that this is the pixel that I actually kind of want, right? So I can keep on zooming in here just so that it's dead center of my view. So that's roughly where I want it to be. I can go ahead and actually mark this point. So hit mark, click it, and it comes up with uh, arbitrary coordinates. I don't know what they should be, but it's marked. Meaning, when I now zoom in and I look at it, and apparently I mis mispicked, so hold on. That's not what I wanted, so let me do this, do this again. So the point that I want is right here there we go this is better there you go that's the right point now you don't have to do it the way i just did it but i find it a little bit easier now point exists now i can go into my registration button 
And in the project alignment tab, I can do a two point alignment. And I'm actually going to ignore the second point, but that's the only routine that I found that works for me. I'll fly into the spot where I need it to be. You can already see the, the point, and that's why I do it, because in this view, it's asking you, hey, pick the point that you know the coordinates for. And I don't know, uh, if you don't have it marked, you will have a hard time finding it because you will not have a you know little, what is it, bow tie mark over here. Uh, here, because I have this bow tie mark right around it already, I know that I'll be picking the right point. So if I know the coordinates for it and say they are 100 by 200 by I don't know, 10, 20, I don't know. this doesn't matter. Obviously, you will be reading this from your CAD model. When you pick it, um, you see my, my, my cursor is still in the view uh, mode. Uh, to make it pick the point, you just click this and you see the little uh, blue line um, show up next to the values that you just entered. And now your cursor is different, which means now if I click that very point, it'll now inherit that uh, very position. Now be careful, don't click in the 3D view because it's obviously now asking you, hey, pick a second point for the Z-axis uh, rotation. I don't need the second point. So what I can do is I can just back out of here and just verify that that looks correct. I lost focus here for a moment. So where was that point? Hold on. Oh, there you go. So the coordinate system should be set uh, properly over there, meaning if I just hit the apply, uh, apply transformation, I didn't do. So the only thing I did was this. I didn't really click any other point in the second uh, option. We'll just hit apply, close. Now if I go into my explore view and quickly view this first of all my rotation will be correct because it's still there and if we quickly come down to that point and we just inspect the coordinates notice the coordinates at the bottom 100 by 200 by 20 is what i call the point so if i don't actually create the point i'm just getting closer and closer to it so needless to say it's inheriting the right coordinates meaning even if i go into properties you'll see that that point has the right coordinates. Now, don't forget to save, because if you don't, then all of these settings would have been forgotten. But hit save, say, rotated to plan north and applied transformation or something, whatever works for you. But now that it's saved, when you export this, it will inherit the proper uh, rotation and the proper uh, coordinate, you know, transformation that you apply to that single point. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below.